I don't know exactly what it is, but I have such a guilty pleasure when it comes to watching Karens argue online. Hi, my name is Shane if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. Today, we are going to check out a couple of TikToks showing Karens doing what Karens do best, being a Karen. <laughs> Our first Karen is found at a pharmacy, and I get it, pharmacies can be really frustrating for both the patient and the pharmacist. Getting medication, dealing with insurances, dealing with customers, it could be extremely overwhelming for everyone involved. Maybe your doctor hasn't sent over the prescriptions yet. Whatever is going on here though is so uncalled for. <laughs> Hopefully that woman is not picking up any medication for her heart because she needs it stat. Between the yelling, I overheard her say something about sh that she said her birthday and her name like over and over again. I get it. Again, pharmacies can be really frustrating. I'm sorry, but this lady who's closest to the camera. I'd be so nervous if I was that lady in the maroon with the black pants. Like, she's just chilling. I mean, she's probably seen it all. <laughs> she's like, you know what, this is just another Tuesday at the office. It looks like the lady in the maroon is kind of peeking over maybe to someone that she's standing next to. This poor lady, I don't know if it's... I know, like, onsets of dementia can make you really angry and really irritable. Obviously, I don't know what this woman has. I can't diagnose her whatsoever. Obviously, there's a lot of anger and frustration in there. I'm hoping that she maybe has somebody with her. I gotta watch it again. Okay, so it definitely looks like she's alone. There was a guy uh, standing near her in a white t-shirt and I thought that maybe that he could be with her, maybe that was her son. But looking at the video again, it doesn't even look like he is involved <laughs> with her. So this poor lady looks like she is on her own. She is clearly frustrated. In no way, shape, or form am I justifying her behavior. However, I feel like a woman of her age, she's getting medication and stuff, she should uh, have somebody there helping her, but unfortunately not everybody has that. If I was in that situation, I'm not really sure if I'd go up to her. Like, she, she, she's a little, she's a little intimidating to approach, uh, for any of these people to go up to her. She has just got to calm down before she ends up, uh, giving herself a heart attack or causing any more issues. Some of the comments, not the boomer panic. All the other employees are so unbothered. Yeah, it looks like the other pharmacists aren't really paying attention very much. When she first starts banging on the counter, their heads kind of spin around. But after that, they're kind of like, you're on your own. <laughs> Especially, that would be me. That would be me, the guy with the blue shirt behind the counter. Just completely, <laughs> he's like, my break is in 15 minutes and I am clocking out in 15 minutes. <laughs> I've been in a pharmacy where it wasn't like this, but I've definitely seen people get really irate. She's calling the cops on the pharmacy. <laughs> I will say while browsing a lot of these videos, I feel like so many people threaten to call the cops so quickly nowadays. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Speaking of calling the cops for unnecessary reasons, our next Karens called the cops on their neighbors because supposedly their teenage son's blinds were open. Our neighbors call cops on us for opening our house's blinds. All right. Go right on ahead. I mean... Oh, yeah, it's which window. window is it? That's you know what window. It's the window that's directly over the center of our house. Over okay, right cool. Because that's my teenage son's room. That's cool. Yeah. Your teenage son does not live up there, considering the lights are on twenty four seven. Yes. You make okay. sure of that. What does a teenager do? Uh, man, oh, just, and I honestly don't know. They just want to know why the blinds are open. They feel like messing with them. If you don't have a, like a reason for blinds being open, I mean that's that's wrong. I just came here to make sure we're civil. But if, if there's uh, and that's honestly what we're doing. Yeah, that's cool. Hey. It's just uncomfortable. Cool if I take him upstairs and show him that it's my teenage son's room. 
that you? you oh, it? Yeah, no, part. you're cool, man. No, I'm the you I'm could the see this. The host yeah, sorry. here you, you keep. You want to keep recording? Oh, this okay. Okay. Oh. He's at work. So he's at work. Yes. So you're the one opening the door. What? Wait a minute. What? For some reason, these two. <laughs> are worried that their neighbor's blinds are open 24 seven with the lights on. So she says nobody lives in there because the lights are on 24 seven. Okay, cool. Cause that's my teenage son's room. That's cool. Yeah. My teenage son does not live up there considering the lights are on 24 seven. If nobody lives in there, according to you, why are you so worried about the blinds being open? And then even though you offer to like, let this guy go into your house to go into that room to see like, that is your teenage son. I wouldn't want anybody knowing exactly where my kid is in my room and what the room looks like. I don't know. That's, that that was a little bizarre to offer. I see that this whole situation is bizarre. Again, with the calling of the cops people, you're calling cops because your neighbor's blinds are open? You've got to be joking. <laughs> the last TikTok we'll take a look at today comes from the Walmart curbside pickup. I've actually used the service quite a bit. If you've been around my channel at all, you know I really will not go into Walmart. I've been followed three separate times at this particular Walmart, so I just really won't go in anymore unless I have to. So I'll use curbside pickup quite a bit. I've never had an issue. I've always been, I think, seemingly pleasant and easy to work with. I've never had an employee cause any issues with me or vice versa. So I don't know. I don't know what led up to this moment, but it seems like the woman in the green dress is clearly the antagonist in this situation. The Walmart employee seems to just want to load her groceries as quickly as possible and get her on her merry way. I'm hoping that they're able to notate that she was a difficult customer, hopefully to prevent her from ordering in the future, but I'm not really sure how that works. While at Walmart grocery pickup, Karen on the prowl. You're welcome. Mind your own fucking business. You won't be ordering from Walmart pickup no more. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I'm the right person to say that to. She don't even realize I'm the manager. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy picking up your meals from now on. Very rude. Wow. Okay. I don't know what she was so mad about. I don't know if maybe, I know it's been a couple times where I've gone to curbside and they were so backed up. I've, I've always been like, it's okay. Like I never mind waiting. I don't know if that was the situation. I don't know why she is just so irritated at this worker. But in the beginning of this TikTok, the lady in the green dress is literally reaching into the blue bucket that the groceries are in and like starting to load it herself. I'm trying to pick up exactly what is being said in the background, but it definitely seems like maybe another empl uh, another customer is filming this because clearly there was something, uh, uh, some commotion going on before for her to be prompted to pull out her cell phone and start recording. I'm just hoping that this Karen is banned from doing pickups. She's gonna have to either go somewhere else or actually go into the store to make her purchase. I don't get that. Be nice to your service workers guys i i can't tell you how many times i was sent home crying from work because of how just mean people can be like it doesn't matter what you look like how nice you are it does not matter like some people just want to come in already ticked off from whatever whatever or they're just a nasty person and they want to take you down with them i'm giving this walmart employee credit where credit is due Customers can be really, really tough, and I've seen my fair share of disgruntled customers at pickup, so good on them. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and show me by leaving a like. Also, if you want to give me a chance and hit that subscribe button, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!